is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Monday, the 9th of January. And it's quite exciting because we had follow through from on Friday's really sharp move above the breakout level of 33,500. We're trading now at 33,779, up 150 points in the Dow. The S&P is also having a good move. Actually, it's interesting because the Dow is up 0.43%, 0.43. The S&P is up 0.94. Uh, it's up 36 at 39.31 lagging somewhat the Dow in terms of the pattern itself, because the, the Dow on the weekly chart is a, a very nicely above the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. And uh, in the daily chart, it's 39.95 that the uh, S&P needs to get to, and that'll start getting it into that weekly. But really, it's a lot to go. It has to get into the 4100s to really break out into a leg D in the weekly chart. So, so far, this is really nice action. Looking at the QQQ, having even a better percentage gain, double, up 1.81%, up 4.88 at 273.63. Also, leg C, just like the S&P, the Dow, the Qs are managing the same thing, but way underneath all the resistance points. So this is the big question that I had for subscribers in my opening call over the weekend with my hour-long overview. <clears throat> Will we see a breakout in the QQQs? Because I want to see the semiconductors and the Qs start to lead here as maybe the Dow takes a bit of a breather. We'll see if that's going to happen. Looking at the IWM, that's the small caps, also doing very nicely. Uh, up uh, 1.77 at 179. If we can get to the 183 level in the next couple of days, that'll be a very good sign. Ah, gold. Gold made a new recovery high. It's in leg D, up 13 at 1880. Uh, three, this is a leg D. <clears throat> there is a left side, right side price time match towards the 1900s. We'll see how this happens. Looks a little bit on the on balance volume, looks a little overbought. We'll see if it pulls back some. The dollar just cannot get a break. It's down sharply. It's at a new a multi. It's actually almost at a yearly low. No, not a yearly low, but it's at a low, a most recent low, and it's trading at 132. Uh, crude oil is having a very nice move to the upside up uh, 2.9 and uh, the TLT we'll see what happens here because the TLT is rallying is pulling back today but it had a strong rally Friday I'll be back for the Tiger Technicians Hour in a few minutes time check out my opening call daily news data see you